big announcement from Bachelor Nation this morning. The brand new Bachelor being revealed right here, right now. And for the first time ever, he is black. It is a big step forward for a show that's been criticized for its lack of diversity. And Janae Norman joins us with more on the story. Good morning, Janae. Amy, good morning. 40 seasons and only one black lead. The Bachelor franchise has never been very diverse. And the show's producers are hearing and listening to that criticism and now taking action. Our next bachelor, Peter Ben Higgins, Juan Pablo. It's the show where suitors search for love. The Bachelor, a ratings hit since this premiere nearly two decades ago. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> but throughout its 18 year history, one thing has remained the same. Not a single bachelor chosen to lead the franchise has ever been a black man. That lack of representation has not gone unnoticed, called out by both fans and former stars of the series. Especially when you break down the numbers, 40 seasons, 18 years, one lead of color. The Bachelorette's Rachel Lindsay, the only black person in 40 seasons to ever have one season devoted to her, has been a vocal critic since appearing on the show three years ago, saying it is long past due for a diversity makeover. And I was hoping when I came on to be a trailblazer for that and to increase diversity in, in the audience that watches it. But in the last three years, there really haven't been changes made. The show's lack of diversity has been called out before, including recently in a change.org petition with nearly 85,000 signatures. Now the show is attempting to turn the page, announcing that at long last, a black man will lead the franchise, choosing 28-year-old Matt James, originally cast as a suitor on Bachelorette Claire's current season. James is also pals with famous Bachelor alums Tyler Cameron and Hannah Brown. Rachel Lindsay says that while picking James is a start, there's still much more work to be done. I want producers of color. I would like for them to cast leads that are interested in dating outside of their race and aren't just getting their first time experience for the first time on national TV. I need the acknowledgement of that. Not putting a Band-Aid over the situation and just saying, here, we're gonna put this here. Are you happy now? So with James at the helm, the question now, will this be a true turning point for the franchise, one where inclusion and diversity are made a priority? Josiah, will you accept this rose? Absolutely. The president of ABC Entertainment promising this is just the beginning, saying we know we have a responsibility to make sure the love stories we're seeing on screen are representative of the world we live in, and we will continue to take action with regard to diversity issues on this franchise. We feel so privileged to have Matt as our first black bachelor, and we cannot wait to embark on this journey with him. And former Bachelor Sean Lowe, who's also been critical of the show's lack of diversity, says in addition to a black Bachelor, the show needs to cast more black men in The Bachelorette, saying at this point there seems to be maybe three men out of a group of 25. Amy. All right, Janae, thank you so much. And guess what? We are very excited. The new Bachelor, Matt James, joins us now. Matt, congratulations. And you really know how to keep a secret because apparently... Your mom is finding out with the rest of America that you're The Bachelor. So what do you think her reaction is going to be? She's going to be excited. You know, uh, I saw her mom, but it's hard for her to keep a secret. So I had to keep it super tight. And um, she's just now finding out, which is a fun way for kind of everybody to, to participate, you know. <laughs> Matt, did you just call your mama out and say, I couldn't tell my mama because she, can, she can't be quiet? Did you just do that, Matt? Hey, one thing I try to do is keep it real, and I'm an authentic person, and, and if I said anything else, then I would be lying. So uh, right, I, I'm going to try to be a truthful person. Then your reaction to getting the call, what went through your mind first when you got the call to be the guy? So my first reaction was, does this mean I don't get me... I don't get to meet Claire because I was looking forward to meeting her. You know, I, uh, I had set, up, set aside all this time and we had gone out to California and then been called back with quarantine. So uh, I'm super excited for her and her season, but uh, I'm looking forward to meeting her eventually. Well, Robot, tell them you got a bunch of Claire's now. Yeah, We're going to yeah, be good. You're, you're going to be a bunch of Claire's out there, right? And we, we just heard from Rachel, Matt, uh, about talking about just the lack of diversity, of course, in The Bachelor. Do you think that this is a signal that there will be not just a change, but a lasting change? Well, I think it's a step in the right direction. Um, when Rachel speaks, we listen. She uh, has a very important voice in all this, being the first black woman, person of color to have a lead. So um, I think that we're all following suit in that conversation. And this is hopefully the first of, this is the first of many 
uh, black men to be in the position that I'm at now. All right, and uh, Rachel, I, I watched, she's the only season I, I watched. I paid attention, and she's a friend now. We've been texting, talking about you this morning, uh, actually, Matt. And part of the discussion has been, is this too little, too late? This has been talked about for a long time. Now, why now? Maybe we have the answer to that, or we can assume, but does it feel a little too, too little, too late? Uh, you know, in my opinion, I don't think it's ever the wrong time to do the, I don't think it's ever the wrong time to do the right thing. So, um, too little too late for me is is this happening and we can't have change until you put that first foot forward and that first foot forward for the bachelor franchise is having a black lead so i'm excited to to take on that role matt do you feel any pressure being the first black man to be uh, a bachelor at this point i think I, it's an honor you know i'm just going to lean into myself and um how my mom raised me and hopefully uh, when people invite me into their homes on monday night they're going to see that i'm not much different from them and uh, they see that diverse love stories are beautiful and I think you kind of hit on what I was going to bring up here. I mean, people can be dismissive, right? It's a reality show. It's The Bachelor. It's ridiculous. And all, all these things, and what I'm saying, it's kind of a guilty pleasure, if you will, that we're not supposed to necessarily take that seriously in the grand scheme of things. But still, it can be relevant, don't you think, to have you, your story, to be out there, to be highlighted in such a way. 100%, because I think a lot of people are in that situation where they're uncomfortable dating outside their race or they're uncomfortable being in that position. They, uh, it's a conversation starter for a lot of people. And hopefully, again, it paves the way for a lot of diverse love stories because those are beautiful stories. All right, Matt. So before we let you go, tell us about the women during the season. What qualities are you looking for? And what do you, what do you hope is the end result? Uh, you know, fortunate for me, I'm looking for qualities that a lot uh, that my mom embodies, and that's uh, selfless, uh, honest, caring, compassionate, and um, those are qualities found in women, all shapes, sizes, and races, and it's not a black or white thing. So I'm hoping that when that limo pulls up, there's a lot of diversity, and, and I see every type of woman coming out of that limo. That's great. Oh, we, we so appreciate you joining us today, Matt. Thank you. We wish you the very best. And uh, you mentioned Claire. Well, Claire's season of The Bachelorette will air this fall, followed by Matt's season of The Bachelor. Very exciting stuff. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.